Spurs will have two friendlies before the Premier League resumes on Boxing Day. We face Scottish club Motherwell at Hotspur Way this Friday. And we face French side Nice at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Wednesday the 21st of December. Reports are stating that Real Madrid are interested in South Korean star Hunmin Son. Reports in Italy are stating that uh, Spurs are interested in Chelsea star Ziyech. And Chelsea are ready to sell the player. And reports are stating that Spurs want to go back in for Sofran Amrabat in the January transfer window but Italian side Fiorentina don't want to sell Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Let's start with a report from Italy and they are stating that Chelsea star Ziyech will be willing to take a pay cut in order to move to Tottenham Hotspur. Spurs are interested in the player and Tottenham are looking to bring in a player who can challenge Dian Kulusevski and Rashalison. And according to uh, Italian journalist and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Ziyech is open to trying something different in 2023. Fabrizio Romano has stated he's not so young, but he was needing that kind of performance as he has had with Morocco at the World Cup. The player is great and needs to play. Chelsea want a permanent transfer and not a loan. Chelsea player Ziyech could be one to watch on the market in January, if not in the January transfer window, then in the summer window because he wants to try something different. A report has just been published by the Evening Standard and they are stating that Spanish club Real Madrid have identified Hunmin Son as a potential option to strengthen their forward line. But Tottenham are unlikely to entertain any offers for the South Korean star. Hunmin Son has made a total of 344 appearances for Spurs uh, since joining the North London side, uh, scoring 136 goals and providing 76 assists. Hunmin Son is under contract at Tottenham Hotspur until 2025. A report has just been published by the Daily Express and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club are interested in launching a second approach for Moroccan midfielder Sofran Amrabat uh, a year after Antonio Conte first tried to bring him to North London. But the Fiorentina sporting director has come out and said we want to keep Sofran Amrabat. There is no plan to sell him. We have the option to extend his contract next year and there is no rush. He is in our plans. A report has just been published by Team Talk and they are stating that Tottenham reportedly believe that signing a highly rated midfielder Antonio Conte is a big fan of will convince the Italian boss to extend his stay in North London. Antonio Conte will be out of contract at the end of the current campaign and so far there have been no signs that he is close to extending his contract with the club. The Spurs chief wants to add to his squad in the January transfer window with several positions in need of bolstering. The report then goes on to say one of the areas in need of a lift is the attacking midfield department, given that Tottenham allowed Tongi Ondombele and Giovanni Lo Celso to leave on loan last summer. Antonio Conte's men have often been accused of lacking midfield creativity, with Leicester's James Madison also a top target. However, it does appear that the former Inter Milan chief wants to get Ajax playmaker Mohamed Kudus. Reports in Italy are claiming that Antonio Conte is insisting on the capture of the Ghana international. Caduce was already being viewed as one of the brightest young talents in the Dutch league. However, his displays during the World Cup in Qatar have only added to the hype. And the Sun newspaper recently revealed that Tottenham, along with the likes of Liverpool and Arsenal, are in the hunt for the 22-year-old. Also in the report, it says, however, any suitors have learned that they will have to pay around £40 million to convince Ajax to sell the player. And as for Tottenham's pursuit, reports in Italy are stating that he's being driven by Antonio Conte himself. 
And one report published in Italy um, has stated that Tottenham are ready to spoil the plans of both Juventus and AC Milan in their pursuit of the youngster. It's also hoped that pushing a deal through for Caduceus will help convince Antonio Conte to stay put at Tottenham. The talented midfielder also favours a switch to England over Italy or Spain, and that gives Antonio Conte and Spurs a significant chance of getting their man. On Tuesday, it was confirmed that Tottenham Hotspur will have a friendly um, this Friday at Hotspur Way behind closed doors against Scottish club Motherwell. Well, on Wednesday, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club announced that we will have another friendly. This time, the game will be played at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The announcement on Wednesday reads as follows. Uh, our men's first team will take on French uh, side Nice in an exhibition match at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Wednesday, the 21st of December, 7 p.m. kickoff. The match will serve as preparation for Antonio Conte's side ahead of a return to Premier League action at Brentford on Boxing Day following the World Cup break. Nice currently sitting in ninth place in their respective league are through to the last 16 of this season's UEFA Europa Conference League. Their squad currently boasts a number of names familiar to the English game, including Schmeichel, Ramsey, Barkley, Pepe and Schneidlin. It then goes on to say, we shall be opening the stadium to a limited capacity with tickets sold on a first come, first serve basis to season ticket holders and premium members who will have the opportunity to purchase two tickets each uh, subject to availability. All tickets will be located in general admission areas and priced at £15 each, uh, £5 for under-18s. Seating will be made available in the lower uh, tiers of the north and west stands. Premium areas will not be open for this fixture. And please note a small allocation will also be made available to away supporters. It also states, with the match being held so close to Christmas, we are taking this opportunity to support those most vulnerable in our local community and will be making a donation of proceeds from ticket sales to our local food banks. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode, let's start by talking about the friendlies. Um, of course, we play Motherwell uh, Hotspur Way on Friday, and now we will be facing Nice five days before uh, we return to Premier League action. Um, I think it's good timing uh, and I think it's uh, a good test for Spurs. Um, of course, a number of players will be back from the World Cup at that point. So I've no doubt that they will be involved in the game as well. But as I said on the last edition, the likes of Jed Spence and co who don't or haven't had much game time so far this season. It is about taking opportunities and showing Antonio Conte exactly what they can do. Now, my thoughts on the Real Madrid interest for Hunmin Son. I've absolutely no doubt that lots of teams around Europe will be interested in Hunmin Son, but I can't see Sonny going anywhere. I think he's very, very happy at Spurs right now. Um, the reports about Spurs possibly going in for Sofran Amrabat, I'll tell you what, he has been one of the standout players at the World Cup in Qatar so far. Um, we tried to sign him uh, in the last January transfer window. And I remember a number of fans um, really moaning, stating, who who on earth are we trying to sign Sofran Amrabat? I've never heard of him. Uh, well, look at him now. Uh, he's one of the standout players at the World Cup. And I've absolutely no doubt that if Fiorentina did decide to sell him, they would probably get uh, two, three, four, even five times the fee, uh, probably what uh, we would have paid last January. Um, you know, we certainly missed out there. Yes, we've got some very good midfield players, uh, but Sofran Amrabat, as I say, he has been a real standout player in the World Cup so far. So uh, whoever does get him, if Fiorentina do end up selling uh, the Moroccan international, they will be getting uh, a, a fantastic player. And what an interesting one about Ziyech. Um, of course, Ziyech wants to move. Uh, Chelsea wants to sell the player. Uh, it's been widely reported that Chelsea want to offload him, not just by loaning him out. They actually want to sell him. But as I've said on this channel hundreds of times before in the last couple of years, uh, Chelsea and Spurs, they will not do business together. Um, I'd be very, very, very surprised if Chelsea ended up selling Ziyech to Spurs. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.